Hello friends, this is a podcast to show you how to put an equation in a graphing calculator and look at the table of values so that you could plot it correctly on a graph. So this is a typical question you could have. Graph the equation. And so what I want to do is bust out the graphing calculator. First to put the equation in, I'm going to hit the y equals button, which is right here. That puts me in the y equals button. Now notice that the first equation is y equals 3x plus 3. So I put y equals x using this button with the x, t, theta, n. Of course, i got to put the 3 in first. 3x plus 3. And to look at this, if I hit zoom and 6, that would get the, give me the standard view of the equation. Easy enough. But you notice because the window is not square, the x's are a little more spaced out than the y's. If you hit zoom 5, you get zoom square so that the x's and y's are in proportion. So the slope looks exactly the way it should, uh, relatively speaking. Now, if I had to put this on the graph that you see here, notice that this graph goes from negative 4 to positive 4 in the x and from negative 4 to positive 4 in the y. We can reset the window, which is right here. Let me clear out the keystrokes. Reset the window right here. So the lowest x value on the graph I have is at negative 4, and the highest is at 4, and each line is one apart. And the same is true for y. The smallest y coordinate is negative 4, the largest is 4, and the scale goes by 1. Now don't hit zoom anything now because you'll erase the window settings you just made. Hit the graph key. All right, so now you have a line that fits in this window exactly the same way it should in this window. But we're not done yet. If I actually had to plot this, what I would want is the table of values so I could put points and then draw a line through, make it exactly right. So to get the table of values, once the equation is in, which it is right here, I'm going to hit second graph, which says table, and here are my values. And I can scroll up and find all the ones that will fit on my graph. So I've got negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, puts me right here. I have negative 1 and 0, I have 0 and 3, and the rest are off the chart. And so now I can draw a line through those points and be exactly right. Now sometimes you have to put two lines on a graph. We can do that as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now take the negative 2x minus 6 equation. I'm going to go back to the y equals button right there. And in y2, I'm going to put negative. Notice I use the little negative below the 3 for a negative number, 2x minus 6. And now, when I hit graph, I have both lines on the same graph. I could also reset this window. And notice this window now goes by 2s. So now that I'm set up, I'll hit the window. Notice the x-coordinates go from negative 8 to positive 8 because they go by 2. So now here in the x-scale, I put a 2. And the y-coordinates go from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, from negative 12 to positive 4. And they also go by 2s. So when I hit the graph button here, I get a screen that looks exactly the same and I still have both equations on the graph. Again, to look at the table of values, second, and the graph button, and now I have both equations. The y1 is the 3x plus, 6, 3x plus 3 line, and the y2 is the negative 2 minus 6. So as I start plugging these in, I got negative 2, negative 3. I've got negative 1, 0. I've got 0 and 3. And these don't cover all my values, so I'm just going to up arrow here cover all the ones that'll fit. I got negative 4, negative 9, and I got negative 5, negative 12. And now, I'll go straight through. There you have it.